tonight, chilling testimony from Florida's own top prosecutor, Pam Bondi, saying a stalker tapped on her windows of her Tampa home in the middle of the night. All new at six, ABC Action News anchor Paul Legrone is here with what Bondi revealed in court. Paul? Yeah, just really scary stuff here, Wendy. Today, Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi in court coming face to face with a man she says relentlessly stalked her. Today, she filed an injunction to keep this man away from her. And when the attorney general testified, we learned some very frightening details about what she's been dealing with. He came to my home in the middle of the night, a gentleman I do not know. Pam Bondi testifying in court today, reliving the night she says 51-year-old William Wilkes knocked on the door of her Tampa home at 3 a.m. I was um, home alone. I have a very large dog. He was agitating my dog by tapping on the window. Bondi also testifying that she saw Wilkes try to change his appearance outside her residence. He had been wearing a, I guess, a flannel shirt over a gray shirt, but before approaching my door, and I know this from the surveillance cameras I later reviewed, he had taken off the shirt to change his appearance. Wilkes is a violent career criminal in and out of jail records show since 1987. Everything from drugs and grand theft auto to robbery with a deadly weapon. Yes, ma'am. Today in court, he laughed out loud as the judge asked him questions and he gazed over at Bondi after she sat down. Bondi revealing she actually thought Wilkes was another stalker who's harassed her in the past. I do have another stalker, and that's who I thought he was from another state who showed up at the Capitol at 4 a.m. saying that he had a chip in his brain and I was the only one who could remove it. The judge granted the injunction, and as the attorney general walked out, Wilkes was escorted away. The sound of his shackles filling the courtroom. And just taking a look at this guy's rap sheet tonight, it goes back 30 years. We also learned in court today that Wilkes tried to call Bondi direct through Facebook Messenger and then sent her four text messages commenting about her physical appearance. The attorney general calling this whole episode troubling.